All right. Thank you so much for joining me, Jennifer. I appreciate it. Pleasure. I'm so excited for our call today because you <laughs> have been quite an inspirational um, client to work with and you've got a really cool story to tell as well. So yeah. before I riff off and asking you some questions, for those yeah. who have never met you that are probably watching this on YouTube, please tell us a little bit about who you are, what you do for work um, yeah. during the day, um, and what is something that you do that brings you joy? Oh, okay. Um, yeah, my name's Jennifer and I have a small business. Been running for five years. And uh, um, after work, so as a self-employed, I'm pretty busy with work, like six days a week and often work long hours. And after work, I really enjoy spend time with my kids, like cooking, do things together and drive them around. And for myself, if I have more extra time, I listen to your videos <laughs> a few times. I, I repeat, I start from the beginning again. So because I found I missed something or I forgot something. I enjoy it because your videos are really informative informative and very enlightening make my eyes opening so I enjoyed watch it yeah thank you I appreciate that mm -hmm. so you're a busy mom you've got a couple of daughters what's your business <laughs> you have a florist is that right that's yeah, yeah, yeah 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 that's right yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah and for those watching you you have you actually have quite a unique story you came to me with already was it four or five properties that you already had I have four, four. you had four but you were yeah, about yeah. to settle on the fifth one um, that's after I met you. Yeah, that was after. Okay, cool. Yeah. Awesome. All yeah. right. Um, cool. So let's go back a couple of steps. Where did you originally find me? You found me on a podcast, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, podcast. And uh, I actually uh, was watching the YouTube and uh, was watching Dashdoor YouTube and there's one video talking about you. You, you, you were the guest, and you were talking about your stories. And I said, "Oh, this is interesting." And uh, I just, I like your stories, and I like it, the things you share shared um, with us. And uh, so I just, oh, pro then you mentioned you are property coach. I said, "Oh, what's property coach?" And now as I found out more, I think that's what I exactly what I want. Hmm. Because uh, that's something missing. Um, when I started the um, property investment, um, there's so many things I'm not sure what to do. And yeah. the, that's exactly what you are helping. So, yeah, so I approached you and then we start from there. I love that. You did. You reached out and I was like, this woman's got four properties. You're doing all right. You actually also had your property structured quite well as well. So it was funny when we got talking because I was like, oh, what was quite interesting about you was that you had made a lot of right moves, but you weren't aware of like why they were the right moves. And so it was very cool because I got to educate you along the way. And you were asking like a lot of very good structural questions around strategy, long term, 10 years, 20 years. How should I think about this and that? And um, and you were asking quite detailed questions, which I thought, you know what, I don't get that from the average investor either. Um, although in my mind, I thought as a coach, even I was like, oh, do many people need help once they get past four or five properties? What I liked about you was, yeah, was that you were so intrigued to go to that next level of knowledge as well. Um, what do you think was the thing that was holding you back before you met me? Before you met me, what do you think was the thing holding you back from buying the next investment property? Actually, it's that it's really a long story, and uh, um, I really have mixed experience before I met you. I have mm. some really bad experience. And as and as you I think what you said is right. I did something right, but I didn't realize it's the right move. It's just I was told, oh, you should hold your property in the trust. And I just didn't really know why. And nobody tell me why. And uh, and that I made so many mistakes. And uh, um so when I um started invest 
think 2021, two years ago, um, I was just so confused because nobody tell me, nobody, even I had a vice agent, they really just focus on source the properties, but yeah. no one tell me how to structure my loans and uh, how I can move forward. So it mm -hmm. all happened just case by case and uh, there's no structures, no strategies. And the, I, the bigger concern for me is the borrowing capacity. And I was just, oh, how can I keep borrowing? And how can I like improve my serviceability? And how can I keep buying? Um, and then it's about luck, like I, you, your videos come across and I said, oh, that's what, exactly what I need. Um, that's and when I approached you, you so I really like your energy, and you're so enthusiastic, and you always very cheerful, and also the video sent to me so in depth, so so much information, so many good things. As you said, it's like it's your seven years learning packaged into one like. 30 minutes video so lots of good things there lots of information and i really i really like like it so oh, i yeah so and yeah that's that's how i come to you and so before i met you it's everything just just happened and uh, i didn't know what why why i should do it and how i continue um, yeah yeah well there you go that you did um and what i what I also really loved about you was how like long-term that you also thought about it. And I, I say this actually to a lot of clients because I have a lot of really good healthy men, um, uh, clients from a um, mindset perspective. Um, but for you, I'd like to know out of all of these things that you've learned, and you've learned a lot from me over the last, well, I think we started chatting and hanging out like six, maybe even nine months ago. Was it before? I think it might've even yeah, been. Yeah, December. We, I, yeah, I, I, approached you in last December wow okay awesome yeah, before like Christmas nearly a whole yeah. year yeah yeah, yeah. nearly yeah. Christmas again and now you've yeah. settled on another property which is awesome yeah, yeah. yeah um what do you think has been the the two biggest one or two things that you've learned from me I really like like the idea of the the good debts and the inflation just er erode away the debts and I oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just keep borrowing and I like interest, just keep like as long as I can, I'll just keep borrowing and uh, if for interest only, I'm not going to pay down my debt yep, <laughs> if I can. I can. Yeah. And, and just for context thing. for anyone watching this as well, it's not like um, Jennifer's on a high, massively high income either. She's on a very average income and she's a single mom of two kids. So she's got this too. Sorry, what were we going to say, Jennifer? Another thing is the balance. I really like what you said, uh, get the maximum return on your life and uh, have a balance because not just the keep uh, working hard, save, save hard and just keep just put every, all your energy into investment, but don't forget you have to leave. Don't, don't have, when you're 60, 70, you, you have regrets like say, oh, I have lived. <laughs> I have yeah. lived my life. Like, have a bet. So that's something I try to do better and yeah, spend more time with my kids because they are grow fast and um, in a few years time they will leave me. They will go to uni. They have their own friends, their own life. So I try to enjoy the moment. They still close very close to me and still want me spend time with me. So yeah, so try to have a balance. Oh, that's just beautiful. You've honestly made me tear up. Um, life changed. I don't normally get teary on these calls. Um, that is just can incredible, I, Jennifer, that you've taken just, away. Mm. Yeah, can I also say um, what's beautiful about you is uh, you have that good heart. You said that you want to help kids, educate kids and some like disadvantaged kids or something. Um, and you you said something like one of your hope or dreams is like you can 
go to schools or you can educate kids and you offer like like for free or something i think that's really really good really good because uh, when i grew up nobody told, told me teach me about investment how to manage money and i just learned all by mistake i, I had like big big lessons to learn before i I have today's um, today's story, but I think it's if my kids can learn from early age, or other kids can learn from you from early age, they really lucky, like and they really um, that's really helpful for them as well. Thank Instead, you. apart from just academic achievements, I think mm -hmm. financial um, financial knowledge is very important for not if not everybody but for lots of average people like me and my kids I would like them to learn as well yeah amen and they're going to because now you're able to pass on this information I've taught you yeah, yeah. and you've yeah, got yeah. all my trainings as well you can get them to yeah watch. yeah yeah, awesome. yeah yeah I told my kids about you they all know you <laughs> Do they? Yes, I can't wait. That is one of my dreams is yeah. uh, you have definitely inspired me today to um, stop waiting for when that right moment right moment is. And I'm definitely going to start uh, reaching out to see how I can um, impact kids on, especially specifically like older teenagers and, and early 20s and teach them about this investing yeah, yeah, yeah. stuff. I really yeah. want to inspire that. So yeah. thank you so much. I appreciate no that. No problem. Like I'm looking back, I've been working hard all these years and still really, once I stop working, there's no income. Yeah, amen. Yeah. And so if I knew about you earlier, if I have um, knowledge to um, invest earlier, I it would be a different story. Yeah. Yeah, you're, it would be, but also look at the position that you're in now that you're able to obviously pass this knowledge on to your kids though as well. Um, and now you're in technically, you're in the top 1% of property investors now. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Officially. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, just I just feel lucky met you because uh, you um, you taught me so many things. And uh, um, really, I'm really looking forward to my next journey with you. I, I, if you, I can, I would like you to be my mentor. And uh, like, I, I think I will still have questions, issues, and not sure what to do. If I can still ask you, I would mm. like you to help out. Absolutely. If, if you have time. Absolutely. I'm actually about to announce something that I'm launching in the next month or two. So I'm going to tell you that after this after this recording. So you get sure. the, the first secrets in. Um yeah. so that is so amazing. I appreciate that. Yes, you're right. Around wealth, we're not taught about it in school. That's why I'm so passionate about it. I believe that the system is designed to make us think that we need to be little minions going to a nine to five job, having a um, having a job and swapping our time for money. It is what I'm so passionate about is freeing people from this. And the fact that you're now uh, fast tracked and on the way to achieving that. I think we worked out your portfolio planner was going to get you to kind of like a, your cash flow amount that you wanted to live off in like six years or something away. And only six yeah, years yeah. you'd be yeah. retired if you wanted to. Yeah, yeah. And now you're like, hang on, that goal's a little bit uh, achieving yeah, that a little yeah. bit earlier than expected. So let's go yeah. higher, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I think that. That, um, even like uh, if I'm lucky, I can re reach my goal. I'm, I'm not sure if I will stop working. I'll probably do something else because mm -hmm. the floor is really hard work and long hours. Mm -hmm. um, so if I can, I would like to do something else and I'll still keep working and <laughs> keep buying. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't stop buying. We don't need yeah. to stop. Yep. Yeah. And the way that you've structured it, you don't you won't need an income soon to, to keep lending. Hopefully. So hopefully uh, one day we'll get there um mm -hmm. awesome what do you think you're most excited for for the future um actually i had a really really bad experience um uh, when i started invest until i met you and uh i i was just hoping um people can learn from my mistake and uh 
I just hope um, my future investment journey will be smoother. Um, I can make less mistakes. Awesome. Let's talk about some of those mistakes then, because I think you've got a few lessons. What were some of the early mistakes that you made? Or what are some of the big mistakes that you're like, oh gosh, that was so big. I wish that doesn't happen to someone else. What happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, I think the biggest mistake is I, um, so two years ago, that's during the COVID and uh, I had been a savings and uh, I was looking for investment um, opportunities and that uh, come across this guy on the YouTube, he's really According to his um, YouTube, and he seems really knowledgeable, and he he was selling his investment um, classes and uh, um, to reach financial freedom, and that then he is very approachable, like a very um, he was very nice, and uh, so I trusted him. I bought his um, class investment class, and. Uh, but one thing is that I never know. He never told us how many, how many like um how his investment stories, how many properties he had. So um that's one thing I he did he never told us. And then and it turned out he he is only selling house and land packages. Ah, uh, the old house and land packages. Yep. And uh, um. And he he told he sold me um, a Hasland package in Ballarat, but the the data he was based on is the past. In the past, in uh, it's the performance in the past. And he and when I asked him about post, if it's, it will be positive cash flow, and he asked me what's what's a positive cash flow. And when I had a company recommend me to set up a trust and uh, to buy property with trust. And he said, I never heard people buy property in with trust. So that's what he said. That's oh, just, no. <laughs> yeah, made, made me, um, and now I'm stuck with this house and package. Um, it took two years for for the house project to be finished. And then um, it's negative cash flow. It's, uh, um, there's no signs it has it will go it probably flight or even go down for a few for the next few years so there's uh, opportunity cost there and uh, and that i just feel it's not worth holding it and uh, i'm trying to sell it but not much interest so i it finished the con um, constructions in may mm -hmm. and it's on the market um, since it's finished and uh, it's three months now, still not much interest. So I'm stuck with that property. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was interesting. I love talking about with clients, the, we've talked about, you know, the strategy, the pros and the cons of selling property as well, which was really cool that I got to do that with you. Like from my perspective, I'm like, yeah, I get to talk about this from your perspective. You're like, yeah, but I had a not so much of a good experience. Um, that's really cool. So Essentially, you uh, sourced a, a buyer's agent that was selling off the market properties and they didn't really share much of their story as well. And they were basing everything off past data, which is very, very common that a lot of people do is they say, well, this is the history of what happened. Does not mean that that's what's going to happen in the future. Um, that does not indicate future. It does tell us about the past. So yeah, incredible now that you now have that knowledge, which is awesome as well. Um, so Awesome. Thank you so much for sharing that. Is there another, is there one more story that you'd like to tell or one more lesson that you'd like to? Um... Oh, another thing is, um, as you said, that your team, like the brokers, um, the buyer agent, if you use a buyer agent, are really important because I had a broker and uh, um, she she helped me to um, with the lending and then Everything goes well until like two weeks before the settlement. And she asked me for four figures money. So she asked me to pay her four figures. And uh, um, I thought, oh, it's too late for me to change change the land lenders. And I would like to go ahead with the settlement. Otherwise, I have to get penalty. So I paid her, the broker. Oh, so, so that's two weeks the before the settlement. Yeah, I paid broker, and the, and she asked me to transfer money into her bank account, the personal bank account. 
oh. and it's a, a lot of money, lot of money. Um, oh I didn't know about that one okay yeah red alert if you're watching this let you know that most brokers are free you don't have to pay them because they get paid commissions from the bank for setting up the mortgage for them so there you go do you know about that story very good story to tell red alert for anyone watching brokers are free yeah. don't pay them <laughs> Yeah, um, just be careful who you work with. Mm. The brokers, the bail agents, um, just do some research yourself and maybe some education on yourself bef um, before you make your decision. Yeah, I love that. Awesome. That's some very good tips there, Jennifer. I appreciate you and your time. It's been an absolute pleasure with working with you. Um, we'll wrap this one up. Is there any any other last uh, little pieces of advice that you would want to give to somebody else in your situation starting off? Or if there's another mum out there watching this, any advice you'd like to give them? Um, I think um, if, I think I borrowed the quotes from Goose, like uh, if you have $1,000, you invest on yourself. Amen. Yes. If you are that that broke anyway, you might as well spend the thousand dollars on yourself on your personal development. I absolutely yeah. agree with that. Yeah. Yeah. Final closing. That's also yeah. Grant Cardone talks a lot about that as well. Like you're already yeah. broke. You can't really afford much. You might as well invest it in you because the best person to invest is yourself. Yeah. yeah well yeah. done. Amen. Yeah. Very good closing off. All right. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Have a look. Good Thanks, night. Olivia. Thank you.